your your welcome back welcome back part three I honestly cannot remember what I was doing but you know what let's just get back into it I do remember I was thinking um it's been a while since we got any kind of story from this so I think I do need to help out uh, I can't remember who else was up. Oh, I know it was Sands, but I think I'm so. I was up. Uh, no. Weak immune system. I'm afraid I might get sick. Can I go home before it starts? No. <sighs> okay, we gotta help out Vargo. A uh, Japanese businessman who must remain nameless will soon arrive in Freeburg. The city hopes to sign a major contract with him. As our guest, he will examine many of our institutions, including the police station. His visit will be scheduled on August 5th. Please take care to ensure that at least three Asian officers are working that day. Yes. Okay. All right. An NRA lumberjack by the name of Grissom Frank claims that he planted a bomb in the cathedral. He says a blow up. The building where everyone inside wants the police arrest the priest. Apparently, the priest convinced his recently deceased wife to refuse treatment at the hospital and asked for God's help instead. Uh, fuck. Uh, please inform an employee complaint against you in the past as long as you persecute for further investigation. What do I do? Yay. Oh, yeah, I forgot how she died. How the investigation is doing? Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming that's good. But that's a red haired lady, so I, I, I don't know what I can do. These aren't even all the things, so I'm just waiting on that one. Alright. I couldn't send squad on that one. Let's help him out. Someone said a blood soaked box earlier this home. Looks like you could take the head or some other bark. We don't want to open the box till there's a policeman present. Uh, Scott. The full of visitors. Deploy all forces in an attempt to find a bomb. Find a priest to begin the expedition. Announce the bomb threat and order one evacuate immediately. Improvise explosive devices to discover under a pew in the altar. Oh my god. Sure that pew has been evacuated. Oh my god. No, Mixon. Whoops. Bruh, what's my kill streak right now? Damn, 11 officers dead. Damn. I don't know, Palm, fucking. Bro, that's why I need a squad there, man. Mixon's first fucking day on the job, too. The trucker teenager, encouraged by a group of friends, stripped off his clothes at the cash register and took to purchase a pack of condoms. Seems like some sort of hazing or ritual site passage. He only t yeah, I'm about to say, he only takes one officer. Uh, a little. She's some guy in rags is trying to enter the police station saying he's a Tabian monk wants to talk to our patrolman about the nature of violence. Should we let him in? Nah. Fuck him. No. State prescribes we managed to change all the staff that work on the ranch. We had eight new bags for the neighboring city, but the bus day we were taking got intercepted by Vargas punks. Let's teach them not even our maids can't be trifled with. No. Go fuck you, Sam. Hey.
Like a team, Mr. Hanno was getting ready for an important match. The ice arena is closed during chain hours, but stayed in the right there just for people straight close. Break it to read a cloud guy, Sarah. Fuck you, Sans. <laughs> Crazy woman just rang in. My God, this rich is gonna kill my baby. Please send anyone you can right away to call in this abrupt, abruptly. Best man on the job, along with you. Got a little money together, so I decided to build a bar in the basement of one of the houses. Opening days today, and someone started pounding the front door. At first, we thought the neighbors complained about the noise, but sales people rushed in. They're smashing everything. Someone's got out, but other beat for the bad. Uh, Scott and. and State. and a t whatever. I thought so. I knew it was false alarm. Everyone's cat got into a fight with neighbor's dog. The dog ran back home with other force. Boy, the cat caught out the house to rescue. Noise. Noise. Yeah, I'm the noise boy. Trying to noise your noise. One woman diving past the bridge saw two thugs grabbing a skinny guy by his leg. Came over the bridge railing, just struggling and shouting. And doll. Camp. No new frames, eh? No new frames, eh? Hey, good shit. In the day. Hey. Uh, delay the paperwork. I want that money. Oh my god. Fuck it, and everybody else. No. No. No! Yep, I knew it. Boy. Is everything okay, Jeff? I'm not calling in the middle of a job. No, 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 you're okay. Did you find her? Yes, yes, I found her. Nothing shocking, don't worry. She's living with an insurance agent in the suburbs. He's 31 years old, recently divorced. He has a funny car, you know, like in that movie where that... Did you talk to her? Yeah, we talked. More like I talked and she basically cried. God, she hasn't cried so much since high school. Yeah, you know, she was dating this boy from a restaurant. And, oh, oh, what was his name? And so, Laura, she'll be back? Of course she'll be back. She just needs time. Time? You mean once she gets tired of screwing the insurance agent? Jack, you're talking about my daughter. Yeah, I know. I just, I want to... Well, I, I just want her to come back as soon as possible. Don't worry, I'm with you. We just need a little patience. I know it's asking a lot, Jack, but you really just gotta be patient. Wait for my call. All right, again, I'll wait for the call. Yes, understood. I know the situation is asking a lot from you too, Mrs. Markham. Thank you, and please call me anytime. Jack? Yeah? 
You okay, you okay for, money? for money? Excuse me? Well, you know, where the papers were talking about your resignation, they said you and Laura were a little tight, and I thought maybe you don't Good God. <laughs> Jack? <laughs> Jack? You okay for money? <laughs> God oh, damn. I want to raise. Young mother reported that an old man in rage went to the playground, climbed the hill, and reached out. And the universe is made of suffering and hatred. I'll kill all of you. I rage much about Go away, you scary kids. I don't have any good fucking officers, man. Tana Gary. Why? Please inform that we're calling in two of the employees you initiated a complaint against you for official reviews. In, in uh interviews. Date of interrogation, August fifth. Everything's happening August fucking fifth. Mr. Vargas sent us a meeting and escort one of his associates, but right in front of us, a giant truck crashed to his car. It can't be a coincidence. Sand, Mr. Sand is trying to kill us. <sighs> Fuck it. I hope he. Oh, can't see that. Oh, man. I sent the best guy on that job. He's sure to be okay. Kind of fucking figured. No, Stip just came in. Some thugs were messing around with class is supposed to be in the basement of a abandoned house and handing out the children along with toys. SWAT. Bird. Jack, we just got around and fresh. Young Tet is ready for field training in a different police department across the country. There's a couple of smart guys in a bunch for best in the course, and I don't want them to. Train us some smug jerkies going to rent a challenge. Let them spend their week working with you, okay? Bet you can use the help. Yes. Someone came in our secret meeting spot, introduced to a friend of ours, Mr. Frogger, said we could find him in the slum sewers. We said some guys looking, but that was a few hours ago and haven't heard anything back. We're gonna get worried. Uh, you and you. Uh, send in a fucking Yancey. Two trucks collided on a country road near the forest. Police were called by a motorcyclist who was driving past. He said that one of the trucks rolled over a cop fire, but the driver managed to escape flames. He grabbed a stick from the side of the road, set it on fire, and now threatening the other driver who locked himself inside his car. Well, that's all I got. Uh oh. Hey, you know what? Good shit. All in a day's work, guys. Good police work. Damn good police work. Fuck you. Branching the burning state like a torch and striking the other cars when you attempt to get to the driver. Uh, put out the stick with a fire extinguisher. Fuck it. Oh, he did. Damn. That fucking sucks. What was the proper choice there? Fucking. A man armed with a gun 
First to price shot, demand all the money and values to put in the bag. Oh, I don't have to swat. Oh, fucking hell. Purdy, I wish I sent other uh, buddy to that one. I wish I would sent Pers Percy. How do you see his name? Percy? Percy did that, this one. You know, I sh now that I think about it, I should be asking the Mafia to sell it. I'm already helping them. fucking tired and he's fucking tired. I don't give a fuck. think so. I thought not. I thought not. An alarm going off in one of the port houses. The guard assigned to the site is not responding. So he says it's not unusual. Apparently guard is an old man who re regularly drinks and sleeps even, where, even there in the warehouse. The alarm went off for the stores for as a frozen fish. Sounds like a job for just you. I'm not responding to that scene. Fuck a bird. Scar's drunk in the company. Of a prostitute. Oh my god. Now that one I'll respond. We found out which lawyer Sam was using for a real estate deal. Mr. Vargas said the guy was probably known for a thing or two about Sam's business. We went to his office where we were with him. Look, the security guys got a little upset with noise. So can you send one over there to calm them down? Sure, sure. Scott has three fucking ranks. Stars. Stripes. Oh. An elderly man while taking a nighttime walk with his dog spotted a man and woman entering the dark alley. And he heard out the woman cry out, Help, he's trying to rape me. Uh oh. Uh, let's see. Vandal and Lil. A woman who's sh uh, shutting a window for the night knows two teenagers across the street break the window of a car and get inside. Scott, ain't you? I know. Oh, fuck, I don't got any. Oh, well, the man is lying, cut shot a woman in a drawing dress. The woman is in a state of shock and hides up behind her back. Don't worry, you're not in any trouble. I have a witness. They're dead. Why? What I do to them? Bro, what the fuck did I do to them?
Bro, I can't fucking afford that. Sorry. Maybe I could, you know, I couldn't know. Two women and a man are uh, seen attacking a black couple, smacking him around with boots, no less. The local shopkeeper warned that he was calling the police, but this time the man ran away, but two women continued to stream sold. Little and... You know what, you're on a fucking roll. You're gonna be tired of shit. Four of our guys were supposed to meet an associate Mr. Vargas on the beach. They were carrying a couple bags of money and headed towards the river. That's the last we ever heard of them. And we've seen them. Uh, we've been stood around waiting all day. The police might want to check if sand and bush them and dump their bodies in the water. <laughs> no. It's not my fault, though. Ooh, that sucks. August 5th. What? Is that me? Fuck! Oh, fuck. Who the fuck killed me? Oh. Cause I held too oh. It's cause I held too much of a lead. Oh fuck. I absolutely forgot. Oh shit. Start a new one. I bet if we refuse to help, uh, what's his name? Kendrick Mafia to him be like, hey, he was your second in command. You gotta help us anyway. Be when it. I was a kid. My father sometimes told me at bedtime I could skip if I this. closed my eyes and didn't open them for a long time. Oh, I forgot about this.
Boom. Hand it with professionalism. How's the back today, Mr. Boy? How's the back? Cops don't use the police station cafeteria anymore. Oh, you know what? I should have seen how to finish the investigations. Don't you leave me here. Don't you leave me here. If you must go, sweet mama, please leave a job. Theater manager reports that during a showing of Citizen Kane, a Trump man attempted to force his way into the theater showing was carrying a snowboard decorated word Rosebud. When he was denied entry, he violently attacked the cashier and is currently fighting the security guard. Go help him! Oh yeah, I got a fire price again. <laughs> Cause ain't no fucking way. I'ma let her tell me what she got, uh, what she can and won't do. It's not a good omen. We're starting off good. We're starting off real fucking good. Three teenagers armed with a shotgun ride a radio teach story made off with their whole collection of adult movies. The criminal sled in the car, but the store man is right down the car's like place. Only just Janet Brown lives in the suburbs. Yancey Austin. Oh shit, did Austin die last time? I think she did. I gotta wait for somebody real to get back because fuck that. I'm not saying a fucking um Alright, there we go. A brother and sister clash with each other in order to cease father's will, according to one of the lawyers, we don't dare separate them with security guards off duty tonight. I can send Purdy and Price. Passer by some teenager attacking early musician and run away with his guitar money. Yeah. Uh -huh. View of parked outside of Janet Brown residence. Signs of moaning and laughter can be heard through the window side. Uh, turn on the siren and the last week of shout out the house surrounded. Oh! That was the right thing. So it's the same choice as the last time. I get a better chance this time now. I was expecting to see one of them dead. I thought they would escape. Sorry, Purdy. But we're up real fucking good. Damn good police work, people. Damn. Is he already tired? I gotta fire this guy. Used to be when I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office, he liked the grump. I broke my breath in me while I was getting ready for work. My dad always says it's seven years of bad luck. I know it's a silly superstition. It'll probably be the last seven hours. It might be good if Fuck you. I am not promoting anybody. Oh, 
All fucking ready. Received the frightening call from the local cathedral. This morning, Abbott discovered someone entered the old cemetery last night. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vandal and... Oh, I had to fire Birch. That's right. Bro, Birch fucking sucks and his son. Hey. Go ahead and hire him. Oh, yeah. Because I remember for a fact... I gotta fire Birch and his son. Both of them will. <sighs> Roy, too. Oh my god. This man, Harley Jones, looking out the window, saw two teenagers scratching, off, scratching offensive slogans on his new car. I thought so. Shift fucking eight sucks. Richard's name, Mila reports that she just served a chicken, Eddie, and Coke to a dangerous criminal she's seen on television just this morning. Cooper sitting in the window eating a burger. Ugh, I already remember this one. Shift A is AF. Didn't this guy quit? Mr. Oh, Boyman Bouncer stuffed himself with Mexican food again. Now he can't get off the camp. He went along outside the club. He was stretching around the block. We need someone outside. To cool guys from the punks. Whoever does this about it. Oh yeah, it was this guy first time. Birch. I right, hope you quit. It'll save me the trouble. Sorry, Chief, but I quit. One night I pulled. Yes! Yes! Thank God. Kingston! Hey! Make a man carry a canister of gasoline and threaten and set himself on fire unless his favorite chewing gum becomes proper again. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. I think shift day is about somebody on shift day is about to fucking die. I remember I took that one. I can't. Clown to see making balloon animals. Take take the clown onto the ice and round up any witnesses. Oh, nice. Holy shit, we did it, guys. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, you go home. I was burning down the side. My other father was inside. and he needed to make sense and start the day off. Yes, yeah, coming tomorrow. Hey, bro. Uh, promote Yancey. You know what? If Pretty didn't take off today, yeah, I'm firing all strong. This is really awkward. <laughs> He's king. 
Streets of the Maids have traveled to the city. They're captured from ta black towns, fought and beaten to death. They recently sent a message to a local radio station to promise to kill all the black doctors, firemen, police. We don't need any more dead police, especially not with mobs for re election. Racists are gaining more and more followers, even if some of our sins support them. You have to fire all your black folks. Why? I'm not doing that shit. A member of the city's cleaning crew saw an early man approaching some sensitive cars in the parking lot carrying a black iron rod. The whole street could clear him shot bastards, thieves, blood suckers. Ah, you and you. Alright. Uh, yep. Vickers, you're on a case. No. Mm -mm. Uh, I think Shift A needs actually some cops. Uh, some detectives. Okay. Not gonna lie. This is not because. You know what? I could fire him because I'm justified. Oh. Oh, it's not justified. I can move him to Shift A, alright? Yeah, I'm moving to Shift A. Gas station fans recorded car that's on the stolen vehicle stolen stolen list. Oh wait! I don't know. This is how somebody died. Bro, shift be way up fucking good. Yeah, yeah, I remember this one. Yes. That is okay. No, it's not okay. Corey Ramsey, mother of several children, expressed her concerns about the suspicious man wearing by full conceit on a bench inside the playground. He's watching chairs for an hour and taking several photographs of them. This guy is sweet, I remember. Hell yeah. Actually, you're pretty good. See, that last one had, uh, fuck, I can't remember. the uh yep oh fuck uh bartender reports that a couple of dancers started fighting over tips and the cat fight broke out around stage I cannot remember how this went. Bartender reported a fight broken out between a. It's the same thing. She? Oh. They were right. She was talking about her opponent. Authorizing 
Shut off music, turn up the lights. Can you fight and believe it, please, President? Uh, boom. There we go. Hell yeah, Price. At this rate, I won't have to fire you. Never mind. I see you're already fucking tired. <laughs> Why would a man need a bar? To store oh, the yeah. Stuff to bring home? oh, yeah. Fuck you, Kendrick. I'm not going to lecture you, Frank. I don't think I have anything to say that you don't already know. I'm sorry for your family. I wish them all the best of luck. Damn, I'm so badass. Bro, it's because, bro, he just fucks off and he doesn't even try to fucking help. Pretty. You deserve it. I'm not doing that. Hey! <laughs> Every morning there's a dirty, piss, uh, soaked bum sleeping at the cafe. The man freezes away, growls at him when he approaches, scaring all customers. Sounds like a job for Glenn. You know what, Kingston? Let's go. <laughs> Witness locked down, looked on from her window while a armed man was stalking in the entered the store. Yep, that. Not that, but yeah. And pretty hope nobody dies. I wanna raise. A hot dog vendor reports that he saw two Elvis impersonators grappling right there on the street. They're swearing in Spanish to be each other with Barker fan stands. Uh and Hey, we're doing damn good work. Shift A real good now. We got rid of Birch. Fuck that dude. Roy. Birch Jr. You next. So I'm just two exits from which people already fled. Uh sneak up to the back door. Sally take aim. I remember. Robert grows very nervous. Yeah, I remember. This one, anti, uh, Valdi, Armstrong, you're on a piece. Check here when it has, uh, beast, Golden Beast Hunt, Sony changed the rules of the annual shooting contest and now it features teams instead of single competitors. Can you send me to your finest marksman? Grant Fandle. This one's a hot one. A lot of people are going for swim last week. People drowning, blah, 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 blah. Similar to I things. Uh, Birch. Oh, hell yeah. We are fucking up. At a gallery expedition entitled Sex Operation Gang Young People's Ski Mask Force Away Ambient Stress and Exhibit Shouting. We don't need this shit in our city. <coughs> Damn, Shift A is fucking busy. Alright.
one was pretty simple. Boom. Boom, boom. Car went out for a smoke, saw a teenager riding sands in a wall building. He chased a brat up a tree. You can take it from there. I remember I sent fucking Roy. I know you're fucking tired. Mr. Boyd, there was a man here earlier. He left you this. A man? What man? Who let him on this floor? I don't know. I've never seen him before. I asked him his name, but he just ignored me. He was talking on a big telephone, you know, one of those portables. He gave me this envelope and left. Damn. Okay, let's see about this. Mm. The photo could have been doctored, of course. But Sam doesn't go in for cheap theatrics. Kendrick is dead. His family is dead. And they probably died slowly and painfully. But Sam's got a bigger game. He's not trying to frighten me. He's just trying to clue me in on the facts. I didn't agree to work for him on my own. So now they're just going to insist. Boy. Good morning, Jack. I believe you just received my message. Who am I speaking with? Oh, I'm sorry. I forget some people don't recognize my voice. But I assure you, Jack, if I was sitting right there in front of you, you'd have no trouble recognizing me. Like I was a member of your family. Even better than a wife, perhaps. A wife can betray you. No man is you. I don't talk to people who don't tell me their names. Oh, Jack, don't be so childish. You're too old to run away from strangers. Yes, we both are. And in our old age, friendship becomes rare and all the more precious. But of course, we must work with new people and find out new names. So if you insist, Jack, let us formally meet. Hello, Jack Boyd. I'm Christopher Sand. Wonderful, Mr. Sand. And what is it you do for a living? Oh, you'll soon find out all about that. Well, you'll learn much more than a simple policeman could ever expect. You're a simple policeman no longer, Jack. Don't turn off your phone. Start today. I kind of knew it. There's no avoiding it. It doesn't matter what choice you make. Eight in ten. It's been my go-to principle since my first day on the job. Gotta let my colleagues hush up what they need to, two out of ten times, so that they'll help me with the remaining eight. Eighty out of a hundred, eight hundred out of a thousand, I'm proud of those statistics. It's not so bad for Freeburg, right? But now I just officially became a mafia whore. I'm supposed to be fearing for my life, for the lives of my wife and children. That sucks. What? No, fuck you. Oh, fuck. 
like I got the wrong guy on this shit, man. Hey! Uh, oh shit. Oh my god. Young employee at the, rest, at the factory got into a fight with the manager who's trying to push him to a vat of boiling chocolate. Uh, you and... you know what? Austin. Price. I should have did that at the end of the fucking day. It's not like she's gonna do shit anyway. Lieutenant Dylan Burns reported seeing a teenager walking between cars, trying handles in hopes of finding an unlocked vehicle. Before the attack could park to a teenager from an unlocked door and shot himself aside. A few seconds later, two drones speaking from the parking lot, greatly exceeding the speed limit. He fled towards the suburbs. Officers have determined the car thief's location. Uh, overtake the criminal and attempt to take him to custody. Ooh. We be child called and saying that someone's holding me against his will. They don't let me go outside. Price, you're on the job. Oh wait, she's fired. How the fuck? He called from angry casino patron. He claims that one of his casino girls is hanging around the table with his wallet and was carrying a couple thousand dollars in cash and several credit cards. Casino security showed them outside, saying he was drunk and man has given up so easily. Pretty, uh, yeah. Jack, we're dealing with more refuse to pay his debt. Says that the police will protect him. It's time we show the side police are on. help him out this time. I think I get more money if I do right. Bro, we are up fucking good. At a parking lot exit, a security guard stopped a suspicious looking van and asked to check the driver's membership card. The driver, female driver. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about this. Ooh, uh. Fuck, I don't want. Oh, God. I 
Hope you ain't staying Austin, all right. Who's gonna caught up with the perpetrator's van? Uh, shoot the tires out. Man takes sharp turn, crashes to the window of a sex shop. Woman grabs her. Shoot the criminal in the head. Oh. his more valuable prizes at home while he arranges the sale that brings them to the wise dragging restaurant in the day before planning to make a big deal of the king must have had an immediate buyer for necklace so he brought it to the restaurant seeing I stole it. Use the restaurant open around the clock we well, close at night before, before because an important deal is going on. He has a key to the restaurant. Values were kept safe on the bar. Boom, boom, boom. Right? Oh. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, I see. What's the, uh, store? This home. Wait a minute. You drove in a sedan. What color sedan was it? Oh, I went to buy some medicine. Okay, I see. I see. We went to buy some medicine. Alright, so that means it was the drugstore. It was a drugstore. Uh. Said sedan. I know this is the last picture right here. Uh. This one, and then this one, right? I guess the fuck not. Whatever. Alright, let's end this good day. Good shit, people. Good work. <laughs> Sorry, Price. But things have to be done the way they are. I remember we, 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 we don't need to see you know, this one. He's just talking about Rob Spierre. Hey, Martin. Roy, eh? Good shit. For dog's birthday, I want to spend a day with her at the park. Can you let me off? No. Well, 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 Roy. You gave me a fucking reason. First thing's on the fucking list. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, Roy. See ya. <laughs> Tony Baloney, hell yeah, bro. Welcome to shift day. <laughs> oh man, Tony Baloney. <clears throat> it's 
store clerk reports that two teenagers found the most expensive sneakers on display, tried them on, and without paying, ran out of shop wearing new shoes. Uh, oh shit, Stoverall is fucking tired. I think he's about to fucking quit. Glenn, you're with... Yeah. Go get, go get them shoes back, bro. Go get, go get them shoes back. Try to grab one of the boys. Hell yeah. Damn good police work. Man returned for work early, early than usual and found his young wife in bed with her lover. The maid called the police said she saw the husband taking a hunting rifle from the wall cabinet. Yikes. Team Freebird are hosting the premiere of Back to the Future. Funerals are spread to present off standard door. Birch. Now that I think about it, this dude almost has a fucking scores of a fucking Roy, bro. Roy fucking sucks. Oh! She didn't die this time! Young father, deprived of his parental rights, tried to pick up his daughter from school. When he wasn't allowed access, he allowed a he attacked a teacher, knocked her to the ground, and started kicking her. Oh, uh, Glenn, you're with Grant. Go beat the fuck out of this dude. I want to hear about police brutality. Boy, I've very sensitive issue. A merciful friend. You know what? Do I really need three cops for this, bro? What's <sighs> going on on an engineering planet? Twenty two oh nine. Okay, whatever. That's some good monies. Some good mon mon. Ka ching ka ching. Uh, guard says someone got to this exhibition hall, scrawled pictures of penises on the artwork and hid in the closet. Boom, boom. Bro, we are up real good. I'm going to ask for another raise. Uh-oh. I forgot. Oh, shit. He might fucking quit. It's cool. I got offers to replace him anyway. I got Kingston and uh, I can promote Glenn. Uh, I forgot how it is. Come out with your hands up. Some kind of performance seat, no one understands. Refuse to turn the strength of staff. So don't worry, you're not in trouble. We just want to talk. Uh, I would say that. Oh! Thank fucking God! I didn't want to lose both of those guys. Oh, uh, oh, good day's work, everybody. Good day's work.
Jake, you must have seen the newspaper stories about Thomas Blaine, a retired cop who went schizophrenic and shot a pregnant woman to ensure the tragedy didn't repeat itself. We decided to conduct a psychological testing for all the cops over 50 years of age. That includes you, Jack. Tomorrow morning, Dr. Eleonora Waterbury will be waiting for you in her office. Don't be late. I will be late. Fashionably late. And the day. Good, good shit, everybody. Good shit. I don't think store. Uh, he might quit tomorrow. Next day, I mean, next time he works. You know what? Two names beating the drums. Yep, that's what that is. Uh, man going back into his house. Uh, a blue alien raping a pig. No, 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 that's not what that looks like. You know, a woman decorating Christmas tree. Uh, tower on a hill. Don't see that. Yeah, I actually do see that. This could be some roads, you know, a little road. That's a bridge. Her necklace could be the bridge. Uh, you know, I could see that. Tower on a hill. But, you know, a man giving a woman a Christmas ornament. Yep, that's what that is. Woman dropping a Christmas ornament. An automobile accident. A tree that's growing human lungs. Uh, yeah. Let's go to over that. Piece of Christmas ornament all over the floor. Uh, chess rook. Man with the head of a rhinoceros. That is exactly what the fuck that looks like, actually. Woman slapping the man over to trunk. A huge hedgehog eating people instead of apples. Uh, an overturned truck. Let's see how I can see that. Mm. Yes. Uh, I can see how this could be an octopus playing a piano. Yes, that is exactly what I'm looking at. Not a man pushing a woman. One falling over the Christmas tree, a uh, pile of autumn leaves. That's what I'm looking at. Yep. E. I passed that shit. Nice, nice. My favorite one personally was the uh, man with the head of a rhinoceros. Too tired at Carly Work Street. Can I go home? Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, you earned it, bro. You know what? Get promoted, buddy. Get promoted. You earned it. A few months ago, an unregistered feminist organization appeared in Freeburg now holding their first, first protest. As far as we know, the organization is backed by the foreign sponsors and the goal is to get the people in the fourth position to say, oh, protest may escalate something more serious when you show them was charge. You for tons of tear gas, even foreigners, and that's We show them what intimidation looks like up close and personal. Oh, what's my... It's like it's good shape, only concerns your stress level. It shows the potato from mute. Yeah. <sighs> this investigation. Bro, I got the worst person on this case right here. Thank God, I need about 50 women. Send four officers and SWAT. Glenn, oh, baloney, hey. <laughs> Check your problem. She first gave free burgers a woman. It seems like she's on the side of the She might be walking into some serious legal problems. Better play it safe and take or fake some evidence to shield you from any possible persecution. a recording of a woman a telephone conversation in which one of your officers says he hates women he couldn't wait to turn her face into bloody messes what uh fuck it 
shit's gonna cost a lot. But I'm gonna get it all back. This is fire to fire client. Uh, entered some law officers, pistol, took some server fire hostage, and made a meeting with the firm's partners, the shyster Jews. Took me for a ride, they sucked up all the money, and son still went to jail. Uh oh. Keekston, ribbons. Uh, fuck, I don't have SWAT. I don't know when they're coming back. I should have fucking waited. I didn't know they weren't going to be there for long. Yes, I was told to. Something going down at the casino at 412. Oh, hell yeah. 812. What the fuck? Wait, what do you think? Oh! Uh, Beasley, you're on the case. That's not a good sign. Doop a doop a doo, just ignore that. Hey, stranger in paradise. Bro, these invested fucking gations, we need to hurry up. I don't get it. Um, I only heard a few muffled shots. Oh. They drove in a sedan. Oh. Oh, he's drunk. I can't listen to him. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's this. This and this. Wait. Is that it? Hmm. All right, let's try every possible combination of what I got. Boom. Boom, boom. Not right. B boom, boom, boom. Not right. Not right. All right, then I'm fucked. At first he, uh, oh, wait a minute. All right. He took this, with that, broke in, boom, okay. I'm satisfied with that. Oh, oh yeah, not responding to that. <coughs> Easy eight grand. Constitution eight thousand two thousand grenade arcade. Grenade, what the fuck? Mr. Boy, today we're installing a new slot machine called Super Mag Gazoline three. Last time I put a new one, one of the bigger kids almost broke it the first day. It'd be great if you send a couple of your men to keep other kids under control. Alright, ribbons and Bird? Yeah, fuck it. Alright. Thanks. 
Oh god. Oh no. That's not gonna look good when I go back to the city hall. When I request this fucking uh raise again. Pregnant girl called in report a on a suspicious gynec giant, uh, gynecologist who she met in reception. The doctor was behaving very strangely. Attempted to persuade the girl to have an abortion, though she already had five. It's already five months pregnant. Through extremely tears, she was playing. The doctor said, "I only for only ten grand, he would save me from the parasite inside my body." Sounds like he was only. Never mind. All right. All right. We went back, great boss. In fact, it's been a while since we had a fun. We beat the hell out of playing Hellfighter. Eee. Housewife Tanaka Montaz often complains to the police about her neighbors, constantly making a record of get fight uh, all these refusing to discuss things with their neighbors. She called the police again today after hearing loud bangs in the apartment car along with uh, loud screens. According to her, about six to seven people live there. Kingston, Grant, and you know what? Baloney, you're out. That response police grab a scalp with bully. Shouts, come on, I release your souls from this filthy world. Hit him with the taser. Hell yeah, that was easy. We seriously expanded your judicial powers today's, during today's feminist protest. We're calling in for official questioning. Being a large shipment of alcohol, we heard a new part is like pretty rough, tough. Need a couple guys for insurance. <laughs> uh, well, number one, Birch. Oh, God, I want these ribbons. Ribbons are way better than fucking Birch. You uh, want backup? All I can say is Glenn. Call came in from our hotel occupant. She said she was concerned about the cries of a woman in a journey uh, woman in a journey room. Sounds to me like someone's being raped, quite a uh, frightened elderly woman. Damn, all my cops are out. All right. <gasps> Good shit. Good shit, everybody. Fuck, man. The brutal fucking sucks. Okay. Alright. Spot ticket. Do that shit. Oh, fuck. He's good as fuck. Permanent vacation. Smith's what? Oh, fuck. I gotta send two officers. They gotta get back. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. Swatch should make up for it. The door to one of the rooms on the sixth floor is standing jar and through it you can see a large man holding a crying girl by the neck. He's striking her face and shouting, Shut up, you whore. I paid you, now keep quiet. Uh, point gun at man. Girl manages to escape, but her pant leaps for the man, and another fight breaks out. Uh, use pepper spray. Man shoves the pimp away and suddenly jumps out the window. But I didn't pursue. Holy shit. Damn. We're good as fuck. Who, who is this new police commissioner? Hey. 
If only I could say the same thing for DeBrito's fucking case. Bro, he really mucked that shit up. <laughs> oh, God. What? He just did one fucking case and he was just like, fuck this shit. What better him than Stovo? Bruh. He acts like it was all that bad. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I actually wanna try and crank up an Overwatch real quick. Look on that. Bro, fuck you, bro. You got a, you're reading and you got a fucking case to close, bro. No. Me never died and his ex-wife me to help with the funeral arrangements. Can I take the day off? No. Up all night. Purdy. Get the fuck out of my face. Hey, Tony Baloney. Ugh. I'm gonna actually end it here. I will keep playing this because we are up and fucking good. If I had known it was gonna be the same, I probably would save. <sighs> I would save Kendrick, but fuck him. Fuck him. He didn't even try to help me. Uh, you know, during times. So fuck him. At least now I have an excuse to betray uh, Varga, not Varga, betray Sands to Varga in this upcoming thing. So beforehand, I forgot that you can't be in the lead for too long or Sans is going to know that you're like betraying him. So you have to help Sans out. I totally forgot that. Anyhow, I'll be playing this again tomorrow. We're going to try and finish it. Uh, I will be on Overwatch.